getting really scared of life. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Apologies for this bird's nest, but I actually kind of like it. Yeah, actually, apology retracted. So today I'm gonna talk about something I don't think I've talked to you about before. And this is as many of my videos a very spontaneous video, but I thought, why the hell not talk about it? Um, and as you can tell from the title, it's gonna be about something that's wrong with me, or, well, I guess, yeah. Um, so, I know that a lot of people on YouTube have been open about um, their anxiety and stuff like that, and I don't know, I don't think I've always known, I think it's only recently I've started to realize that I have social phobia slash anxiety. And no, it's not been diagnosed yet, so it's possible that I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. And also, I had my previous doctor that I couldn't go and have a consultation with. She basically just said that I had social phobia, so I was like, I knew it. And I've been told also in other videos when I talk about a bit more serious stuff that they think I'm making fun of stuff just because I'm like not crying and I talk about it in a kind of a jokey, humorous manner. I mean, that's just me and I'm sorry if you're offended by it, but everyone tackles different situations in different ways and this is just how I am. I personally could not sit here and just cry while talking about this. That's just me. I don't mind that people do it, but I just can't do that. And then I know that maybe that gives off a more sincere emotion, but that's just not how I am. I think I'm very like rational slash, I take things rationally and humoristically, if that makes sense. So that's why I talk like this. I mean, this is how I talk when I'm serious. And I'm sorry if that offends you, but that's just me and I hope we can get over it. So yeah, social anxiety, how fun. Um, I think all my life I just thought that I was different or that I did think that there was something wrong with me, but not like a diagnosis. I just thought I was different and it was almost like a choice I made in social situations to be a certain way. So if I try to explain to you how I am, or how I sense my social phobia times, um, I remember when I was 10 and I uh, went on the bus on my way to school and I just took a seat and sat down and all of a sudden I just got this feeling that people were looking at me for no good reason at all. And it's not like I looked around and checked if people were actually looking at me. I just felt it within myself that people are looking at me. And how awkward would it be if I started sweating for no good reason? So because I thought that way, <laughs> I started sweating, which made me even more anxious. So I thought, oh my gosh, now the people are looking at me even more. And then I started sweating more and then I like, Within 10 seconds, I was sweating as if I'd been at the gym for like three hours. And so I just panicked and I felt like I can't be here anymore. So I had to get off like 10 stops to early and just walk to school. That's one way <clears throat> how, I, how I sense my social anxiety. And I don't know, I just thought it was, I didn't think it was anything, but that happened many times growing up, but I just didn't connect the dots. Um, and it, so that developed into me feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm a really sweaty person, so I need to like dress in more loose clothes. So I started doing that. Um, I stopped taking the public transport. Actually that happened like pretty late. Like at, at the moment, I don't take public transport unless I feel like I need to because I still get that. Like, I just start 
sweating profusely because I'm worried that people are gonna see me sweating, which makes no sense because I'm not sweating originally and uh, there's nothing wrong with sweating, so it's just so weird. Other ways I notice it sometimes is that I'm just uncomfortable looking people in the eyes like walking down the street. So um, on many occasions I've been walking down the street and I just like stare straight ahead and then like a really close friend is like this close to me and they're like Samantha, hi, hello, and I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, hi, because I, and I didn't even recognize, like, a very close friend, because I was so focused on not, like, looking at people or looking them in the eye, which is pretty weird, and they, obviously, some people would think that I was ignoring them on purpose, which I'm not, um, and that's another thing that follows <laughs> with social anxiety, I feel like people often think I'm a bitch, because of the way I am socially, like, I'll be at a party or a social gathering and I'm like, if I'm in the wrong mood, I just won't talk to people. I'll just stand there, be on my phone and like try to calm myself down. And I feel like, for me, I feel like people just think I'm lame. But I, I've noticed throughout the years that people actually just think I'm, I think they think I'm a bitch or like, <laughs> I don't know. I just get that feeling. Um, because whenever I've gotten to know people who've seen me in a situation like that, they've just said like, oh my gosh, I just saw it, like, you thought you were too cool for us, and that's why you didn't talk to us, <laughs> when actually I'm just standing there and I'm like, oh my gosh, <sighs> I'm panicking. <laughs> so, I mean, it's only recently I've realized how big of an impact it has had on my life. I've always said like, oh no. <clears throat> like I've told people that <clears throat> sorry I've told people that it doesn't like affect me but like the more I think about it the more I realize yeah it does affect me and it's really annoying like I have to plan like I have to plan what I wear like in such detail sometimes like I can't wear things that are like close what do you call it hugging my body because that makes me really uncomfortable and that kind of triggers those thoughts about me sweating, people are looking at me, so I'll sweat more and like, oh, that's so annoying. So I just end up telling people, oh my gosh, I'm just a really sweaty person. Well, actually, that's not the case. I'm just socially panicking. So it is something that I've told myself now that that's gonna be something I'll have to deal with this year. Um, it's a new year's resolution for me and that is to go and talk to someone. I mean, that's the least I can do, just to get like, maybe get some tools that can be useful. I've been told about cognitive, cognitive beha behavior, I don't know how to say that word, wait. Cognitive behavioral, I've never, I've only read that word, so I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT which is apparently supposed to challenge the bad thoughts you have and I think you're supposed to retrain your brain um, in situations where you're really uncomfortable so that should be good and yeah I don't know I just I don't know I just felt like I wanted to talk to someone about it <laughs> oh. Fuck! I know, I didn't think I'd cry. No one's even here. <sighs> it just just ruined so much that I didn't even think of before because as a person I feel like I'm pretty ambitious I want to do a lot of things and with this I feel like it's just it's been such a hindrance for me and it makes me avoid situations where I could develop, where I could improve, where I could 
be very successful and do great things. But I'm just too scared to have to deal with like all the symptoms of social anxiety that I just ignore them completely. Well, this is pretty lame. Um, I never, never in my life thought I'd cry on YouTube. I'm not even sure I'll keep this in the video, but um, <clears throat> it is, I guess, it's a real emotion and it is reflective of how I feel. Now, one important thing to mention is that for me, social anxiety isn't all the time. Like, I have good times as well, and when I'm really good, like, I feel like I'm really good. I feel like I can be really good socially, but when it's bad, it's it just, you kind of just avoid life, which is annoying. Like, I'm missing out on so many things that I want to do. Um, Sometimes, like, it even affects the way I feel about family members that I haven't seen in a long time. I even feel like I'm comfortable, like, meeting them. And that's my family. It's just, oh God, it's so annoying, but yeah, it sucks. And. I guess the point I'm trying to make, well, I'm not sure if it's a point. I think it's a good thing for people to talk more openly about it because that's the one reason why I've realized that I have social anxiety and that's because people have started being more and more open about it on YouTube. I mean, some of my uh, favorite YouTubers also suffer from social anxiety and just because they've talked about it um it has made me realize that i have it as well i think that's a great thing so in a way i'm hoping i'm contributing uh, by helping other people maybe realize it and seek help for it because it does suck it really does suck and i feel like it just gets worse for me the older i get so if you're younger and kind of can relate to some of the things I'm saying, just talk to someone about it. Like, it's really not that hard just to go and talk to someone about it. And you could prevent, like, just getting worse. <laughs> I've promised myself that I'm gonna deal with it this year. And it feels good. I'm actually very excited about hopefully getting rid of some of the thoughts I have. And some of the anxiety I feel uh, in certain situations like now that I have more of a career type job I feel like it's that's where I've really started to realize how much in the way it is and I really need to just fix it because I can't keep going like this <sighs> I just wanted to just talk about it. I mean, it feels very liberating talking about it. It's a bit weird crying, but it feels, it still feels liberating. And if any of you guys recognize the symptoms that I have, um, you might also have social anxiety. So I would recommend speaking to someone. If you have it diagnosed already and you have any good ideas or tips, um, for me or anyone else please comment them below that would be great because at the moment I'm taking any help I can get <laughs> and yeah let's kick this year in the butt sort ourselves out make us healthier 
become better people and just be happier because in the end that's really all that matters um, and just also a disclaimer I'm not I am happy most of the time so this video might make it seem like I'm unhappy a lot or depressed maybe I'm not sure if but maybe some people might interpret it that way that's not the case and that's I think also why people are surprised when they t when I tell them that I have social anxiety um, because I am a very happy-go-lucky person and I always say I'm happy 99% of the time um, but yeah so I don't want you to worry about that in case you were um, and also let you know that you, you can't always tell if people have issues like this it's kind of like one of those annoying invisible diseases although I don't think it's a disease but anyways oh I'm just gonna stop talking and just stop the video here because this has just been a lot of rambling but yeah I just wanted to tell you guys so thank you guys for watching um now you know a little bit more about myself and maybe why I am the way I am um, as I said, if you have any tips or advice, please comment below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, Cause I will continue documenting my journey to a better mental health. So I'll update you when I've talked to someone about it. And if and when I get a diagnosis and then how I deal with it. So stay tuned for that and until the next video, I'll smell you later. Bye!